I think that most guys I know, most guys I've ever met in my life would never want to date me. I know that they feel this way. I can just sense it. I think that most guys I know are like, Fiona's cool, would never want to date her. I'm pretty hungover, but I'm going to explain with my one brain cell. Men often have opinions or say things that really don't make a lot of sense about politics, psychology, social culture, feminism. I often find myself disagreeing with men and I simply cannot let them think that they're right. So I want to debate. I want to argue. I want to prove you wrong. And I bring sometimes an aggressiveness to my debate style. No, you know what it is? It's a confidence to my debate style. I know two guys who I've debated with who have beat me. And I've said, you know what? You're right. In my life. And my dad's a lawyer and I beat him every damn time. He calls me up. I'm sorry, you're right, I'm wrong. I don't think a lot of men love this. So I turn off the majority of men with this uh, little spice, but I think I will attract the best 1%. It just hasn't happened yet, but just wait on it. This one is just extremely masculine and argues with men. The last thing men want is to be around a woman who is combative. Although it's good she's taking accountability and understands why she will stay single, she just made herself look bad by saying she will attract the top 1%. The girl is deluded. I turned 25 this week, and if I'm honest, I'm terrified. I'm terrified because I feel like a failure. And I don't know if anyone else watching this understands that feeling, but my life looks nothing like I thought it would at this age. When I was a kid, I always said, by 25, I'll be married or I'll have a kid. I'll have this amazing career. And I've done a lot of cool things, don't get me wrong, but I'm about to be 25. And most nights I go to bed feeling so lonely. And then most days I wake up feeling lost, like I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I have this overwhelming thought of, is this it? Is this all there is? When you're 25 years old and you live alone and you have no partner and you have maybe two friends and you've struggled with mental illness your entire life, there's just not much to wake up for, is there? Let me know if you relate because I would love to not feel so alone. The fact a 25 year old can feel like this when she has so much of her life ahead of her is just sad. No doubt, she could probably find a decent boyfriend, even if she is on the heavy side. But what is stopping her from doing so? Does she keep chasing after Chad and Tyrone? I wouldn't be surprised if she did, to be honest. Well, it's her own fault. For the man that just stopped me in the rain saying, excuse me, it's raining, I'm on my own, I'm in Hammersmith. I got robbed last week. I said, excuse me, and I went, no. I'm worried that someone's going to distract me and someone's going to steal my phone again. Then get onto the platform and he comes up to me and he goes, I could have just said I'm not interested. I've been in a relationship for eight years. I do not know any woman who would feel comfortable in that situation as they're on their own, it's raining and they're about to enter a tube station. He made me feel like I was an asshole for like putting my boundaries up. The fact that he then came up to me again to like tell me off for breaking his ego makes me more angry. I'm just so fed up of men like that. Many women would feel comfortable in that situation, but she doesn't feel comfortable because her phone got robbed last week. It's understandable for her to feel this way, but she acts as if every woman feels uncomfortable when they're on their own while it's raining. She comes across like she's projecting. She is. If you give an ugly man a chance, nine times out of 10, that motherfucker's gonna delude himself into thinking that he's better than you. So my friends and I were talking. She knows this girl, gorgeous bad little bitch cute face great personality tremendas tetas a full 10. she started dating this creature to put it nicely 
Picture Mr. Clean post a 10 year, very active UFC career. Bald, busted ass face with no teeth. Looking like a whole ass failed experiment. Ay Dios no. Maybe he's rich. This man was old enough to start collecting IRA distributions penalty free. And he still had not moved out of mommy and daddy's home. AARP eligible motherfucker was still having his mom clean his shit street drawers. What the fuck is going on? He dragged this girl. She was constantly begging to make some sort of appearance on his social media, even though my mans would post up gym pick daily as if anyone wanted to see Caillou steroids edition. Finally keep that shit in your camera roll. She was constantly begging him to put more effort into the relationship. He made this girl feel like she was not good enough for him. All while looking like the inside of a Taco Bell stall, babe. Nuclear. This is what these guys do. They have girls like this bad little bitch, build them up, and then he's like, damn, I got her. I can score all of these bad bitches. And when these girls are no longer of use to them, they're dropping these bitches Lori Harvey style. Except Lori Harvey is a fucking goddess. Let this be a lesson. If you want to give an ugly man a chance, fine. You remind him daily who the fuck he is if he ever falls out of line. Look at yourself in the mirror, bitch. Sit down and respect me. Stay safe out there, friends. So a woman she thinks who is attractive dated a UFC guy who has clout and money but apparently he is less valuable because he doesn't look that good. Depending on how old he is, it could be considered crazy that he's still living at his parents' house, but at the end of the day, he has the social influence and the girl he is dating doesn't have any. In this scenario, he is the prize and she is not. That's the bottom line. You got that right. Men are always doing whack shit. These are three of the most unattractive things a man can do in my eyes. If you are inconsistent, get the fuck out of here. An inconsistent man, yuck. If we are talking and you do not contact me on at least one platform a day, you're a loser. If you can go an entire day without thinking of me, that just shows me that you're not afraid to lose me. And that makes you dumb. Imagine having a chance with me and fumbling. Wow. Just like, let me put this in perspective. Imagine being a man and wanting to sleep with a woman and not contacting her. Why would I want to do anything for you? I want to get laid too, but you're making it really hard when you hit me up once a week. Then it just makes me feel like I'm a convenience or you're bored. You don't make me feel safe physically, emotionally, financially, spiritually. Like if I'm sitting at the table wondering if you're gonna pull out your credit card, if I'm wondering if I can say my feelings to you, no. I just wanna feel safe and loved. Is that so much to ask for? Like these things are literally the bare minimum, but that is what it has come to. This one has a lot of demands and nothing special to offer. If these guys are not being consistent, or they're only contacting her once a week, it means she has no value and her entitlement is based upon nothing but her own delusional thoughts. Facts.